Hey, Salon family, Salon family, my name is Yehoshua. We're with an organization called Israel United in Christ. We come out here in peace. We come out here just to speak about some scriptures with you all. That's, that's it. We'd like to speak with your elder. If somebody could go inside, ask if you could bring your elder out. We just got a couple questions for him. That's all. We just got a couple of questions for him. All right, can somebody go inside and tell your elder that we'd like to speak with him? We got a couple questions for him. We'd like to share some history with him. We want to build with him. All right? For too long, we've had division amongst the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We are here to bring unity to our people. We are here to bring unity to our people. We're trying to gather ourselves together according to the scriptures. Give me Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Yes, sir. We heard Elder Sam's message today. He had a great message today. We like to win him over. We like to show him who he is according to the scriptures. We like to share that with the congregation as well. We only come in peace. We only come in peace. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it up. While we're getting this, can someone please go inside and tell Elder Sam that the Israelites would like to speak with him. The Israelites would like to build with him. The Israelites would like to share a message with him. Read what you got. Gather yourselves together. The Holy Bible says, gather ourselves together. So we come out here to gather together with the church of the redeemed of the Lord. We come out here to gather together with you to show you your true heritage according to the scriptures. Read. Right. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Because there's no nation on the face of this earth that's less, de less desired than the so-called black man. Right. Less desired than the so-called Hispanics. That's right. Right. Less desired than the so-called natives. That's right. So we come out here to gather our people together under God's laws, statutes, and commandments as the Israelites. That's right. right. Our message is very similar to the message that was brought forth today. Elder Sam said, we can't tolerate homosexuality. Guess what? The Most High God says the same thing in the scriptures. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Read. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Read. Before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth, because destruction is coming to this place. That's right. The Bible says that America is spiritual Sodom. Jeez. And that falls right in line with Elder Sam's message that he brought forth today about homosexuality. That's right. Goes right along with that message. Read what you got. Before the day pass as the child, before the fierce anger of the Lord. The fierce anger of the Lord is coming to this place, to America, because of the same message brought forth by your elder today. We need Elder Sam to come out and build with the Israelites. Somebody go inside and tell Elder Sam that the Israelites would like to speak with him. Right. We got a message that we like to share with him. We want to show him his true nationality according to the Bible. Read. Before the fierce anger of the Lord uh -huh. come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Why is the Lord going to be angry when he returns? Because of the same thing that Elder Sam brought out today. Homosexuality is running rampant in our communities today. Right. Right. Homosexuality is, is diminishing the so-called black community. That's right. Two men can't come together and create life. Two women cannot come together and create life. Right. We are in full support of Elder Sam's message today concerning homosexuality. And so is Christ. Give me Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Give me Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 and I'm going to show you exactly how that fits into the message of Christ. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Bring it out. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. These are red letters. This is the New Testament. Is that is that one of the deacons over there? The brother at the gate? Hey, hey deacon. Okay. All praises to the most high God. All praises to the most high God. Yes, sir. Come on, Cal. I got you. Yeah, because we just want to speak to other sounds because we feel like we can win them over. We heard the message that Elder Sam's brought out today, and we know that it's a message of righteousness. Right. Give me that real quick in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. Yes, a lot of people have painted a bad picture of us in the so in, in our in our so-called communities. They sit up there and say we're a hate group and we're a cult and things like that. But what we do, we teach our people that they are the Israelites according to the Bible, right. and that we must keep the commandments of God with the faith of Christ. Right. Yes, we do we do believe in Jesus. Well, I ask you to give for me. Now, like I said, when I said I feel like he was delivered, the, the little bit of the sermon that I caught that uh, Elder Sams was preaching, it sounded like a message of righteousness. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I'm saying righteousness, read that real quick. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. So I said this should be our righteousness if we should do these commandments before the Lord our God. So when we was hearing Elder Sam speak, we, it, it seemed like he was trying to bring our people back to the commandments. So it's certain questions that we got uh, for him. It's certain things that we want to show him that we have found out the Bible also to sit up there to bring our people back one uh, to Christ. Jeez. That's all we're trying to do. So I, I hope you, I hope y'all understand that we out here for peace. We are not out here to cause disruption. That's why we waited for your service uh, to uh, was uh, to be over. And uh, Lord's willing, Elder Sales come out here and speak to us. Read what you got. Think not that I have come to destroy the law uh -huh. or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ didn't come to destroy the law. I'm gonna show you the law that was brought out by your elder today. Give me Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Bring it out. This is what Christ said out of his own mouth. He did not come to do away with the laws. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Bring it out. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. This is what Elder Sam brought out today. My sister right here with the shades on. Do you understand that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Read what you got. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. The Bible says that you shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. What is that talking about? Homosexuality. The same thing that your elder brought out. So we're asking that your elder come out so that we can dialogue with them, so that we can support your elder and his movement, and he can support us in our movement as well. The message that we come to teach is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, according to Deuteronomy, Chapter 28, the 15th verse through 68, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And we must return back to God as the Israelites, keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. And your elder today was bringing out a very important law that is plaguing the so-called black community. That's right. Read what you got. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Read. It is abomination. The Bible says that it is abomination. There's many abominations that are found, thus saith the Lord, in these holy scriptures. If you haven't learned, my sister right here, how you doing today? Have you been taught that you're an Israelite before, my sister? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. The Bible says that we will break God's commandments and be brought to America, the land of sodomy, the land of slavery, by way of ship. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I see several congregants out there listening. We come to teach you your true nationality according to the Bible. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Bible says that if the Israelites did not keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, then all these curses will come upon us and overtake us. Is this some of the church leadership right here? Are y'all some of the church leaders? Hey, brother, we come in peace, my brother. We just come to build with your elder. We like the message that he brought out in the sermon today. We don't want no problems with you all. We don't want no problems. We're just trying to teach you your true heritage, your true nationality. Because the so-called black man has discontinued from his heritage here in America. Right. The heritage of the so-called black man is not Father's Day. Our heritage is not Juneteenth. Our heritage is not Christmas. Our heritage is not birthdays. We have discontinued. We have discontinued from our heritage, and we've adopted a false heritage given by our slave master. Right. Right. Give me a, uh, hold that, hold that, we'll come back to that. Give me hey, Jeremiah 17 Saul, and 4. Saul, you're telling the move, y'all just move over. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Hey, make sure we comply with the church leadership. If they want us to move, we'll move. Yes, sir. We are here completely for peace. We are out here for peace. We don't want no problems with the church. We're coming out here to try to build with you all. We don't want no issues with you all whatsoever. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out. This is what the Bible says about the condition of the so-called African-American community. Read. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. The Bible says that the Most High God gave us a heritage and we would discontinue from my heritage. My brother with the jean jacket, with the glasses. Jean jacket with the glasses. Do you understand that we've discontinued from our heritage as a people? We've discontinued from our heritage as a people. Read what you got. 
and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. The Most High God gave us a heritage, and we can find it right here in the Bible. Right. We can find it right here in the Bible. Right. Juneteenth is not the the uh, the freedom of the so-called black man. Right. The celebration of our freedom is called Passover. Thus right. said the Lord. Right. Right. God gave us a day that we're supposed to fellowship. It's called the Sabbath day. God gave us a diet that we're supposed to adhere to. It's called Leviticus chapter 11. We got to return back to those things because we've discontinued from those things. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. It's Elder Sam outside. It's Elder Sam out here right now. We're looking for Elder Sam. We want to talk with Elder Sam. We want to talk with Elder Sam about things concerning the scriptures. We like the message that he brought out. We want to talk with Elder Sam concerning things concerning the scriptures. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. As a result of us discontinuing from our heritage, this is what the Bible says will happen to us. Verse 15 again. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we discontinued from our heritage by not hearkening to the voice of the Lord our God, because the most high God, he's our God. So-called black man sitting in the sky with a big old afro, that's our God. Right, right. Is this Elder Sam? Hey, hey, brother, right here. Come on, come on down here, brother. Come on down here, brother. We just want to talk with you. Hey, does the brother have a question? Does the brother have a question? What, what's the question? Go ahead and state your question loud so I can hear you. We all one we all one people, brother. We, we, right. we deal in the spirit of decency and in order. I'm the one teaching, so he's gonna redirect all questions to me. Uh -huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Bible says that many curses will come upon our people and overtake our people because we discontinue from our heritage by breaking God's commandments. Right. The same thing that your pastor taught today is the same thing that the Bible says. Sisters, we are not your enemies. Y'all don't have to try to pray against us. You don't need to try to pray against your own brothers. We are not your enemies. You know who told you that your own brothers were your enemies? This man right here. Hold him up. Bring it out. This man is what tells you that we are your enemies. We got brought over here on the same ships together, my sisters. We came over here on the same ships together, my sisters. We broke the same commandments together, my sisters. We stopped keeping the Sabbath together, my sisters. My my mother, my uh, my my daughters, my my family, my, the women in my family started wearing pants just like you did. And all those things are discontinuing from the heritage of God. What's the brother? Brother X. What do you ask? If we don't agree with what they teach, why don't we leave them believe what they want? Say it one more time. If we don't agree with Christianity, why don't we leave them alone? Okay, excellent question. Excellent question. The brother said, if we do not agree with Christianity, why don't we leave them alone? All right? So what we come out here to do is, is to show you that we do agree. We agree with the Holy Bible. Right. And the Holy Bible tells us to gather ourselves together. We'll right. read that again. Revelation chapter, I'm sorry, uh, Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Is, is that the elder over there? Bring the elder over to the camp. This is, this is why we won't leave. This is what the Bible tells us to do. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. The reason that we're not going away is because the Most High God tells us to gather together. Right. He's not, he, why would the Most High God be pleased with uh, all of us are one people? We got one building here with a little bit of our people, another building down the street with a little bit of our people, and then down that way, another church with more of our people. The Bible says that we've got to gather together. Right. We've right. got to gather together. Right. When Christ comes back, he's only coming back for one church. Right. Right. One church. And who is that church? That church is the nation of Israel. Right. Right. Give me Acts chapter 7. I'm going to show you who the church is. I'm going to show you who the church is. The religion of Christianity is not in the Bible. Right. So we didn't come out here to dispute with you about uh, Christianity. You don't find the word Christianity in the Bible. That's right. The Christians that are in the Bible follow the ways and the customs of Christ. Right. Right. You got what I want in Acts 7? The church in the wilderness? 
Verse 38. Read that. Yes, sir. The book of Acts chapter 7, verse 38. Read it out. This is he. Give me verse 37. Book of Acts chapter 7, verse 37. Bring it out. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel. So Moses said unto the children of Israel, what? A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall you hear. That was Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. Moses told us that he would raise up a prophet amongst us. That was Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Read. Right. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Who? This is he. So Moses is he that was in the church. That was in the church. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. So the one church that Christ is coming back for is the same church that was in the wilderness. That's right. right. That was a nation of people called the children of Israel. Right. right. Christ isn't coming back for a, a Christian church. He's not coming back for a Baptist church. He's not coming back for a Pentecostal church. He's coming back for the same church that he delivered into the wilderness out of Egypt. That's who Christ is coming back for. That's who Christ is coming back for. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. This is the message that we come to teach. We come here to give you your true heritage back. We come to give you your true nationality back. We come to give you the, the correct steps that you need to take to be right with God. Right. Because right now, the Most High God is not pleased with the current estate of the so-called black man or the so-called black woman. Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Right. But he answered and said, I am not sent. Christ says that he is not sent, but, but, meaning only, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The, uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel are the only people that Christ came for. That's right. Those are the only people that Christ came for. And we come out here to tell you the best news that you can ever hear in your life is that you are those lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Right. You are the Israelites that discontinue from your heritage. Right. Right. You are the Gentiles that, 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 that for, forsook the ways of the Most High God and adopted the ways of the heathen. Right. When you read about the term Gentile in the scriptures, it's talking about so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that do not know who they are. Right. They were scattered abroad in different forms of slavery. They were scattered abroad and, and, and learned different types of religions. Right. They were scattered abroad and now they call themselves a color in a crayon box. Right. Right. But you must return back to God as the Israelites. This is, this is uh, Christ's message. Give me Matthew 4 and 17. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. We got a beautiful message for you. It goes right along with the message that your pastor brought out for you today. Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. From that time, Jesus began to preach. So Jesus Christ, a so-called black man according to the scriptures, began to preach. And what did he say? And to say, uh -huh. repent. Do what? Repent. We come out here with the exact same message of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. Our brothers and our sisters must repent from their life of sin. You must repent from the ways that America has taught you. The ways that America taught you are not the same ways that the Most High God has taught That's you. That's right. Who did you get? From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, uh -huh. repent, Read. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We must repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Look at what's happening in the world right now. You get the Russian... Ukraine crisis. What is it doing? It's causing a famine throughout the entire earth. Right. Ukraine holds most of the grain that is supplied throughout the world. Right. And now that now, now that grain is no longer accessible. Now that grain is more expensive. Now the uh, the natural resources that we would get from Russia, like like uh, like natural gas, these things are more expensive. Gas is five dollars a gallon. Right. It's hard to keep money in your own pocket. Why are these things happening? Because the so-called black man and woman and child has not repented, thus saith the Lord. Hey, Give me Acts 3 and 19. Give me the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. We're going to talk a little bit more about this repentance that we must step into. Let's talk a little bit more about this repentance. You got what I want? Yes, sir. Read. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent. Do what? Repent. Repent means to turn away from the ways of sin and come back to God, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Read. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. You must be converted. 
you must be converted. The religion of Christianity isn't in the Bible. We didn't come out here to talk about that. We come out here to talk about what your pastor is already speaking about today. Homosexuality must stop in our community. Right. But homosexuality didn't just start with a man liking a man. It didn't just start with a woman liking a woman. You know what it started with? It started with a man putting on a dress. You know what else it started with? A woman putting on pants. Right. Because the Bible says that the laws of God are spiritual. Teach us. The laws of God are spiritual. So when you keep God's laws, you get spiritual benefits. Right. But when you break God's commandments, you get spiritual detriments. Right. Look, read what you got. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. You must be converted, so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man in Maryland, in, in, uh, in D.C., Baltimore, Maryland. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. Your sins may be blotted out if you repent. But if you do not repent, guess what? Your sin will remain, and you will be judged for your sins. Right. Read. When the times of refreshing shall come uh -huh. from the presence of the Lord. The time of refreshing is speaking about the second coming of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. Read. And he shall send Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive so the heavens already received christ they already received christ in acts chapter one he went up in the chariot he went to the most high god but guess what he's coming back the same way he left and he's coming to bring judgment on his people judgment and salvation on his people the bible says one third of his people will be saved but two thirds of his people will perish right, right. right. give me psalms 19 and 7. The, the scripture says repent and be converted what is it that's going to teach us to be converted? What is it that's going to convert us, thus saith the Lord God, our God? What's going to convert us from being a black man and woman to an Israelite man and woman? You got what I want? The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Bible says that God's laws are perfect. Right. That's right. God's laws are perfect. Thou shalt not commit adultery is a perfect law. Right. Thou shalt not steal is a perfect law. My brother, you an Israelite, you got to return back to God. You got to return back to your heritage. You must grow your beard out. You must stop getting tattoos. You must stop celebrating days that God did not ordain. That's right. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Bible says that the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth